Alright, in this tutorial we're going to be introducing the FaceFX exporter for Softimage. We've downloaded and installed the FaceFX 2010 evaluation installer and that gave us the plugin and it also gave us this sample character Slade, uh, Slade.fbx in the sample source directory. And so we're going to use Slade to demonstrate some of the features of the FaceFX plugin. So bring up the interface, we're going to go to export FaceFX and the first step in a bones based character like Slade is to export a reference pose. So we're going to go to a frame where there is uh, a neutral state of the face. Uh, the mouth is closed, the eyes are open, the face is looking straight ahead, and we're going to export a reference pose. Um, we've selected the bones that we want FaceFX to control. Uh, so you can see the selection. In this case, we've selected all of the bones. And when we hit export, the selected bones are going to be added to the reference pose. So now we can export bone poses. So we can go to the node section. And we could go to one frame, let's say it. Uh, um, frame 10 and click export and then we could export the open bone pose. Uh, if we wanted to do that for each of the bone poses that Slade had that would be uh, that would take quite a bit of time so instead we're going to batch export these poses. I uh, know we've copied that file here um, it's a simple text-based format Slade batch export dot text and what it has is a uh, simple format of pose name space frame number and when you batch export it lets you select this text file and it will batch export all of those bone poses um, on from those specific frames and that file is located in the sample source directory as well so you see now we have a bunch of bone poses uh, which we could let's say go to frame 0 and import the open bone pose to frame 0 uh, if we want to do that we could import the reference pose back to frame 0 and that's how you can import and export bone poses uh, from face effects. Now, these are bone pose nodes, and when you have a curve in an animation uh, with a specific name, let's say if you have a curve called open, it will drive the open node in the face graph. Um, so if we generated an animation, we could generate uh, lip synchronization curves for the targets that we've created here, open, w, shch, pbm. These are targets in our default mapping. Um, so we can do that now. We can generate an animation. This is an evaluation installer, uh, so when we try to generate an animation, it's going to give us a message telling us that uh, the software is phrase locked. So we have to analyze a file uh, with specific text, and that text is "Welcome to FaceFX." I've always wanted to say this live from New York. It's Saturday night, uh, and I've got a file that says that, and I've put it uh, in a convenient location right here, phraselock.oj. It's also available in the tools directory of the FaceFX uh, evaluation installer. And I can clean the timeline and import that animation. And you're going to notice that we're not going to have any head movements or blinks or eyebrow raises. And the reason for that is because we've defined those as uh, the left and right components. Let's say a blink left and blink right. Those are our bone poses that we have. Whereas the curve that's generated from the animation is just called blink. So you need some simple face graph setup to wire up the blink node to the blink left and blink right bone poses that we have. And you can do that kind of setup in the FaceFX Studio Free, which is included in the evaluation installer. You can also import a template from another file, and that will let you get the head moving, head moving and the eyes squinting and the eyebrows raising. So we can see our animation here. And that worked successfully. Um, if we had a morph character, we could import the morph targets by just selecting morph target node. Batch export would export uh, would get all of the morph target nodes from the Slade character uh, into the actor. Slade doesn't have any morph targets, um, and that would do the same thing as the bone poses, but for a morph character. If you're using FaceFX Studio, you can also just open Ogre content, and it will import the morph nodes automatically. XSI does not have a FaceFX uh, Ogre exporter, but you can use standard Ogre exporters like Ogre Max. Um, one important thing to note about the plugin is that it is fully functional even in its evaluation state, except for this Generate Animation button, which is phrase locked. Uh, so FaceFX Studio professional users can use the plugin to export bone poses, import animations, and so on. Uh, but plug-in users who aren't using FaceFX Studio Professional will need to generate animations inside of the plugin, and they'll need to purchase a license to unlock the Generate Animation button. Uh, and that's all we have for the, this tutorial. If you've got any questions, check out facefx.com for the documentation. And